another fun experiment today. This was my first time using, I do believe it's Daniel Smith Gold Watercolor Ground. Looks like this. So essentially it's allowing the paper to have a golden base and you can still watercolor over that. It will accept the watercolor paint. And because I usually work intuitively, I wasn't sure where to apply the gold, so I just went with it. But um, very early on in the exercise, it kind of bothered me that the gold was just in the middle. So I tried different tricks to minimize that. One of them is that I used one of Patty's stencil. This is called Movement. I love that stencil. And of course, I knew that the ground would not lift easily, although I was using Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser, which is very abrasive. The color was lifting well, and it also carried that color through other parts of the stencil, which I really like. And then uh, I thought that everything was kind of too vertical, so that's why I introduced the ribbon. I used Copic White ink for this. And I sort of weaved it through that stencil pattern. I think it's a cool effect. I also added these blue splatters at the bottom because I felt that the bottom was a little bit too light. It's very top heavy. So in an effort to draw the eye also at the bottom, I repeated that blue here, sort of like I can still see like that blue pattern going this in this direction. So when you're doing a composition, the aim is to have the eye traveling all over the place and not miss any area. So it's kind of like tricky sometimes, but I'm still learning about composition. So. I'm very curious to know if any one of you has ever tried this gold watercolor ground. Do you have any tips to share? What did you think of it? I'd be very curious, so feel free to leave your comments down below. And that's pretty much it. So a fun, a fun exercise for this morning. I thank you all for watching and don't forget that the list of supplies is in the description of this video. You just have to click on show more and scroll down. Thank you my awesome patrons for supporting my art over at Patreon. Have a super fun and creative day and I will see you soon.